Look at this. Look, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Mm. Liver King here. I just broke my 24 hour fast by doing a simulated successful hunt, and now it is time to feast. Here's what we get to have three ounces of liver. We got a couple ounces of pure marrow that we're gonna scoop right out of this femur. We got 10 ounces of some bone and skin on sardines. Three ounces of some fresh sashimi style testicle. We have our vegetables. We have a huge chunk, a huge pile of carbs. We got some liver king concoction in here with some grass finished yogurt and maple syrup and a whole beef protein shake. And last but not least, here are my good friends, my condiments, my farm fresh fermented ketchup, my maple syrup, and my olive oil. This is what Liver King gets to eat today. Liver King out. Am I good to eat? You're good. Feast. All right. See you guys in what, 15, 20? Yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you. Oh yeah. See, I was like going for the testicles right away because they don't taste that great, <laughs> but they're hella good for you. So it's like you don't want to come for that second or third, right? You want to face that head on, which is what we did, and we conquered it. So now, we're gonna have this delicious liver, pork rinds, sardines, bone marrow, potatoes, liver king concoction, and the whole beef protein shake, which is also delicious. So I guess, in a way, The testicles are like the vegetables. You know you're supposed to eat them. They're good for you. They don't taste great. The difference is these are unequivocally good for you with no chemical defense systems. Just pure nourishment, no collateral damage. If you don't know what I'm talking about, read Carnivore MD, read his book, the carnivore code and you'll be illuminated with all the facts mm. I know I've told you all this before, but I'm gonna say it again. If you don't love your liver, you're not doing it right. What I mean by that is I'll put about three ounces of liver, 20, 30 grams of maple syrup, two grams of Redmond sea salt, and five grams of the most badass, real, authentic olive oil on the market. It's like caramel goodness. Moving on.
good enough. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say this again too. I've not been to a fine Italian restaurant, maybe ever in my life. But if I had been, and if they served this delicious whole food, skin on bone in fish with the most delectable tomato sauce, this is what I imagine it would taste like. Come to think of it, since I have tomatoes here, this is my this is my uh, my daily serving or my weekly serving of uh, veggie. That's pretty good. That's really good. Mmm. Who goes there? It's my dog Dober. Mmm. Mmm. These potatoes are perfectly buttery, perfectly cooked, <clears throat> perfectly salty, perfectly earned. This is incredible. Mm. Someone asked me today if I ever have a cheat meal. Why would you ever have a cheat meal if all the food you already eat is more delicious and more nutritious than that garbage that you cheat with? What if you didn't have to cheat and you had food that was comparable, if not better in taste, and it was good for you? Well, that's how I get to eat every day, and you can too. That is the world's most delicious protein shake. Right, if you don't believe me, you bring your protein shake down here right now. And I will put them head to head and let them go at it and see who kicks the other one's ass. I'll give you odds too. A little bit hot. So hot that we're going to scoop out some bone marrow while it cools down. So 
So for anybody who needs a lesson on bone marrow proficiency, you take the bone marrow and you scoop that pure marrow right out. The butter knife, look at this. Look, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Mmm. Look how juicy. And it just scoops right out because I didn't take it right out of the fridge. I left it sitting out for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour. So it's room temperature, if not a little bit above room temperature. So it's not all waxy and hard. And it's like, it actually enhances the taste too. Texture is about a million times better, and the taste. The taste is way better too. Look at that. Boom. We have nothing to waste. So what I like to do, first I'm gonna get a bite on. Just see how this pure marrow taste. So good. I'm gonna have another bite before I doctor it up with some more calories. Okay. So now, gonna add in one of the most nutritious food groups there is, maple syrup. Then I'm gonna hedge a little bit with olive oil. Because what if we're not 100% right all the time? Give it a good mixer in the mixer. Now you got like frosting, ancestral frosting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want it to be even more delicious, you could add in some of your vegetables. It's just like a really good texture. I'm gonna add in all my vegetables. For anybody that doesn't know, these are pork rinds, and yes, this is a joke, so don't send me a bunch of DMs that pork rinds aren't vegetables, because they obviously are. Mmm, <laughs> man, you need to come over here for dinner. If you have a dinner here, just one, I bet you'll never go back. Mm. Mm. And think about it. If you have bone marrow right out of the femur from a fresh kill, it's like almost 100 degrees. It's not all waxy, hard, and chalky. It's juicy and tender and succulent and almost oily and buttery. So if you want to mimic a more ancestral, a more natural food to get your pure marrow out, you might want to leave it out uh, for a little bit. Maybe put it in the sun, maybe warm it up. I wouldn't warm it up past 100, maybe 105, but not much more. Don't ruin it by cooking it. That's my point. Okay, so far this is the best thing, is the bone marrow. Mm.
I don't want to be left with not my best thing, and not my favorite thing. So I'm gonna have some more potatoes. Then I'll probably finish off the bone marrow. I don't know if I did this on camera or before, but I put two grams of salt in my original liver dish. Two grams of salt in with the potatoes. Um, we're liberal with salt around the house. Just salt to taste. There's a bunch of shenanigans. It's a bunch of BS. That salt is not good for you. Well, that's just not true. We need our electrolytes when we need them in the right ratios. And if you salt to taste, and if you're metabolically healthy, you will absolutely unequivocally require the salt. In fact, more salt if you're more active. Not having enough salt will cause more problems than having too much salt. We have this really powerful, elegant way to measure salt needs and thirst, and that's called intuition. So if you salt to taste, if you feel like you need more salt, have some more salt. Mm. Mm. It's coming to an end. I'm not ready for it to end. But what I will do after this, so I'm going to sit down with Liver Queen and Liver Boys, and we are going to share our wins for today. And any potential struggles or challenges, we'll identify the root cause of those challenges if they're recurrent. And we'll see if we can put a permanent solution in place to overcome those recurrent challenges. And then we'll laugh, and we'll love, and we'll learn, and we'll call that a dinner. Because dinner doesn't have to mean you're eating. Dinner just means you're getting together. You have a cadence. They know when to expect to have you and vice versa. Okay. So, I would say that is a wrap, but that is not true. <sighs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. That is Liver King Concoction at its finest with some incredible yogurt. Grass-fed, grass-finished yogurt straight from Liver King Ranch. One of the finest food groups in the world, maple syrup. And uh, I don't know if I said liver con concoction, but I'll just say it again, liver con concoction. Here we go. If you've ever had cheesecake with like something sweet with it, that's kind of what this is like, except way better. Mm. So what I've done 
was I've had most of the maple syrup, most of the yogurt. So now I can use the leftover maple syrup with the liver king concoction. Let that liver king concoction soak up some of that goodness. Let it marinate for a second and turn it into something better. Here we go. I'll probably get two or three good bites out of this. Mmm. Mmm. Well, there's uh, anywhere from five to 7,000 calories that were incredible. I take that back. <laughs> the testicle was not that good, but it wasn't that bad. Relatively speaking, it was nothing compared to how delicious everything else was on my plate. And now I'm going to clean my bowl, the Liver King concoction bowl, because if you clean it good enough, you can just put it right back on the shelf. You don't have to wash it, no dishwasher, none of that. And with it being so delicious, why would you not want to clean it? When was the last time you use your hands to eat. All right, I think we're about done. Okay, hold on. It's not perfect, but that can go back in the, <laughs> in the cabinet and nobody will know. They'll just say, hmm, whatever it is that I'm eating today is a little extra sweet, a little extra delicious, a little extra nutritious. All right. We are done with dinner. We're going to go hang out with the family. We're going to go do some bonding. Never king out.